Hey guys, this is Derek the Nitwit. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this week's video. Um, this past week's been pretty mellow, and of course this week coming up is my birthday week, yay! Um, I just got used to entering 45 into all the online forms, now I've got to go up to 46. Um, I am suppose that'll take me a year to get used to as well. The joys of getting old. Um, anyway, um, our weather here doesn't seem to know what it wants to do. It got cold enough for a couple days that I actually had to turn my heater on, which set off my allergies. And I'm one of those unlucky ones with allergies. I cough instead of, you know, I don't sneeze. I sneeze some, but I mainly primarily cough. I get bronchospasms. And so I had an hour long bout of coughing until I got used to the, the heater. And then of course now it's warmed up. It's back in the seventies here. So I think it's supposed to be 72 on my birthday and 78 the day after. So we'll see what it looks like when it actually gets here. But anyway, um, I have worked on the project side this week. I've got one completed project and then the rest of them are, are in progress. And um, I got a, ordered a couple of birthday presents for myself that came in the mail already. Um, so let's get started with, I am, this one is just a basic, it's a granny rectangle. So instead of granny square, it's actually a rectangle. So I'm just doing this. This is yarn. It's um, Premier Just Yarn Worsted. I got it from Dollar Tree for a dollar a skein. So that's actually, you know, a really good price. And it's really soft. And um, I'm actually quite impressed with it. And I got 10 skeins of it, and, and I am just starting my fourth skein, so we'll see how big this blanket gets. And then, um, oh, I started a scarf. This one's a knit scarf, and it was using the, out of the, um, what I did with the book. Um, of the 400 knitting stitches book, I had to look at the name of it was. And it's just a five by five um, check pattern. Kind of looks like it's weeding a little bit. It's not showing up that great on the camera. And um, see about this side. But I like it because it's a good pattern for a scarf just because both sides come out. You know, it doesn't it really look like there's a wrong side to it. I've been working on that. And I'm using the Highland Heathers. Which I tried making using this for a scarf and it just it didn't work. And it anytime I needed to frog it, the yarn got tangled and everything. So it didn't work so well for me as a crochet project, but for knitting, the yarn's working really well. Which is good because I've got a couple more skeins of it in a different color. So and then we got started with this project and which this is going to be a hat, a knit hat from, it's a darn good yarn kit. And the knit hat, it's a cloud slouch beanie. So, you know, it look, looks pretty cute. Um, and the yarn I'm using that came for it. Is this which is sport wake silk yarn? This is crisp morning air. So you use a 3.5 to 4.5 millimeter um, hook or a 3.25 to 3.75 millimeter needle. <coughs> Excuse me, it's a size two. And you have to start it with a, a stretchy cast on, which I actually learned the German twisted cast on, which is so similar to um, the long tail cast on that I wonder why I haven't learned it beforehand. But uh, I made it as far, this was one of my rather unproductive days that I had. I made it as far as putting the circular needle together and then looking at the 120 some odd stitches I needed to cast on and decided I wouldn't do it that day. So that's as far as I got. I put the needle together. But, you know, it's all good. There's no rush. And then, let's see. Oh, the 
and um, Sabrina started a sock tutorial for me, and I am, she's got the videos up for me to, for the video tutorial. So I'm using, I got these from Darn Good Yarn, the, the sock of the month kit, which I'm not doing any of the patterns that came with the actual kits yet, because I'm just learning socks, like this is my very first pair. So Sabrina found just this basic men's crochet or men's knit, knit sock that you can do with straight needles. So we'll start with that and then, you know, we'll work my way to the insanity of double needle, double pointed needles. My cats are being brats. The double pointed needles whenever I get either brave enough or crazy enough. But anyway, you know, it's a super fine. It's a sock yarn. I don't really know the color because if you look at, it says color 61. Doesn't help me much. But I'm using a 3.0 needle, and they're super long, and I wish that I had, like, a shorter pair of straight needles in this size. But I think it's coming along pretty good. I made it past the one-by-one one ribbing. Knit one per one ribbing is atrocious. But it does make a nice stretchy, stretchy. so we'll be all good there. And now I've started, I'm on the stockinette portion of it. So this is just, you know, knit one row, per one row. But I'm making progress on it and doing pretty good. I'm, I'm having fun with it. I'm already dreading the sewing it together part, but I'm going to dread the sewing it together part of any project I ever do, I think. Got that. And then, okay, we're working on the shawl. And the zipper. I finally made it to the pattern, part of the pattern where I actually get to do something. And doing something, I got to add those little holes in it. And um, I think it will have one of those rows where you add the holes in it every, like, every certain number of stitches so but that is i'm on row i'm on row 391 of a pattern that's got 433 rows so i'm getting close i guess but it's still increasing stitches so each row is getting longer but we're doing good and i'm having fun with it and let's see, okay, the blue blanket I've been working on. This is no longer my out and about project because it's getting too big that it want, is, when I'm sitting up working on it, it wants to hang on the floor or touch, touch the floor. So this now is relegated to just being at home. It's at about 37 inches and we've got to get to 50 inches. So not too much long, you know, longer, but I've been working on it quite a bit because the random number generator keeps coming up, popping up with this number, or the number for this pad project. So, I've been working on it. Right. My new out and about project is the is the scarf that I'm knitting. Move, move, Max. Um, so that one, because it's just knit five, purl five, knit five, purl five. So, um. I'm not worried about, you know, I can take it out on my project when I'm out and about. And this one is loom knitting. I started this this morning. All I've ever been able to do on loom knitting, or all I've ever done on loom knitting before, has been the e-wrap stitch, which is just, you know, you, you wrap it around and keep going. But uh, this is a, a garter stitch hat. Garter stitch blazer. I think is what they call it. Um... Yeah, the garter stitch brim hat. And it actually has you knitting and purling. Do the garter stitch and then switch over to this. Other. So I learned those. I learned a new cast on, which was the, the chain cast on. So it actually required the use of a crochet knit. And I'm having fun with it. It is slower than using e wrap, but I'm liking how the, the stitches look. They're not it's not as loose and spread and spaced out. So, we'll see how it goes once I get to the body of that. 
And now for the oh my project I finished I finished the other doily. So it's gonna go on the other end of my couch. And again, I was so close to actually completing a round. I had this much left to go. And it didn't quite do it. But it's all good. Like I said, you know, it hangs over the end of the couch. No one's gonna see it. So I'll put that up in a little bit. Okay, and now for the goodies. So I have needed, I don't have very many needles that are the 16 inch that are the, the size that I need you know, for making hats. And I have been wanting this, it's been on my wish list for a while. So I finally um, sprung for it, got the Chowgu um, interchangeable knit kit, needle kit. And I got the one that had the cables that would let me do, make a 16 inch or I had to get the tips that would work with the cables to make a 16 inch brim so I could make a hat. But it's just a little soft case with the needles on the inside. And then two sets of cables, one for the bigger needles, one for the smaller needles. And then the instructions. It also comes with the stoppers and the, the tightening keys. And then some other little doodads like uh, back in here right stitch markers it's got a little pocket on the front so it's got some stitch markers in there and um there's the the connector so i can make longer if i need to and the end cap in the end tips whatnot and then the um turn the tightening keys and then, of course, it's got the needle gauge. So, but I'm, I, my first project that I'm going to be doing with that is going to be the hat from Darn Good Yarn, the Darn Good Yarn kits, and um, the one where I've got to cast on 120 stretchy stitches. So, it also came with this little sport backpack. So, I guess they call it a project bag. I'll, I'll use it as a project bag, probably. Um, just a little nylon bag, so, yeah. And then, this is something I've been wanting to do for several years. But, um, one, I had to wait till it got to a decent price. And two, I just kept, you know, procrastinating if I wanted to get it or not, you know. Keep talking myself out of it. But I got one of those Ancestry DNA kits. So, this is where we're going to find out that I'm not actually human. I'm, like, alien or something. So, um. I'm going to actually do it. I have do it this next week coming up because um, the only thing I have on my schedule for this next week is on Thursday on, on my birthday, I'm going to therapy. So there is a, well, I actually have the dentist on Monday and then um, therapy on Thursday, but there is a, um, I'll pass a, one of those, the public um, drop-off mailboxes on the way home from therapy. I drop it off there instead of leaving it on the door at um, or the mailbox at my door because if I don't get any mail that day, then the mailman doesn't come up and he never he doesn't see the mail if he's not delivering anything. So, and that's assuming that it's postage paid to ship it in. If not, then I actually will have to walk up to the post office so and the cats are insane the last week or so they have been on zoomer mode forever they're either zooming chasing each other back and forth throughout the house or they are suctioned up right next to me as i'm on the couch trying to work with yarn but you know gotta love them so Anyway, that has been my week, and this is the last time that you guys will see me while I'm still 45. I'll see you next week.